Greetings, everybody. This is Pastor Alan Baggett, <clears throat> and I'm going to bring to you our word of encouragement for today. So excited to be able to do this. It's a good word, and I'm running a little late today. Couldn't get Facebook up and running. Got my wind chimes in the background, so if the wind picks up, uh, you'll get a little uh, uh, background uh, music uh, to do this today. But listen, this is a good word. I want to share it with you. Uh, right now, Psalms chapter 61, verse 2. Hey, good morning, Miss Alicia. Psalms 61, verse 2. When my heart is overwhelmed. How many has ever been there? Amen. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I am. Psalm 61, 2. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I am. Don't know about you guys. Uh, but sometimes we face situations in our lives that can be completely overwhelming. Don't know if you've had those, but I most certainly and most definitely have had those times and situations uh, in my life. There's people I know right now that we're praying for that are in overwhelming uh, situations in their life. But the good news is today is that God will lead us, and God is a rock. He'll lead us to the rock, and God is the rock. Christ is that rock, and uh, He'll lead us to a rock that is higher than we are. He'll lift us above our circumstance and lift us above our situation. We've all had these overwhelming things. I promise you that. We've all, good morning, Miss Afton. Good to see you this morning. We've always had those things. And, and these are times when, we, when these overwhelming feelings and things began to overtake us. These are times that uh, 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 we uh, really get into a depth of despair and a, a, a desperate situation. Our thoughts become desperate. Our, our uh, decisions become desperate. Our, good morning, Tim. Good to see you. Our decisions become uh, desperate. Our choices uh, become desperate because we're feeling so overwhelmed. And when we are overwhelmed in that, in that type of a fashion, uh, usually our choices and our decisions aren't very good ones. This is why we need to allow our Heavenly Father to lead us to the rock, our Lord Jesus Christ. Let Him be the rock under our feet. And He's a rock that's higher than we are. It, it'll help us rise above our situation. At these times of uh, overwhelming, we can call on God and He'll lift us up and He'll lift us up above our situation in a way that only He can do. You see, our God offers to us His security. He offers us His divine help that He can bring in our situation. And, and the cool thing is, and I'm seeing this over and over and over again, especially during these times, that, social times that we're living in and all the, all the uh, crazy stuff that's going on right now. People seem overwhelmed and their hearts are overwhelmed and their minds are overwhelmed, their emotions are overwhelmed. <coughs> They're trying to figure things out. And uh, I'm just telling you, I'm seeing it over and over and over and over and over again. Those who are laying their burdens down, those who are... are stopping trying that's not good english but they're trying uh to stop controlling things themselves and doing it in in and of themselves and actually are turning it over to christ and laying their burden down i am watching these people even in the midst of everything that's going on around us i am watching joy spring up i'm watching peace string up i spring up i am watching uh, miracles take place uh uh, we had a miracle take place yesterday in a, a situation in a family uh, within the congregation. I mean, they needed to find favor in, a, in, a, in an incredible way. And God just showed up in that situation and shut the mouths of the enemy and shut the mouths of accusers. And it was, it was great. It was incredible. So uh, I was just so excited. And to, hear, and to hear the family as I was speaking with them, I hear the peace in their voice, the excitement in their voice, the joy and stuff. And I was going, praise God, uh, these guys are back. These guys are back the way they used to be. So I was just really excited about, I was just super, super, super excited 
about that. And I'm seeing that happen all over the place. So listen, when your heart is overwhelmed, let God lead you to a rock that's higher than you are. Let him live. Don't, don't fall into the depths of desperation or the depths of depression or the depths of anxiety and let those things begin to rule you because I promise you every choice and decision you make during that time is going to be a bad one. It's not going to, it's not going to be good. Lay your burden down. Lay, even in the midst of this situation, even in the midst of everything that's going on right now, lay your burden down and watch what God can do. We talked about it the other day. Be still and know that I am God. Let go of those things and, 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 and know that He is God and the God of your situation. So today, my encouraging word today, no matter how you may feel overwhelmed, no matter what may become against you, no matter what's going on around you, lay it down. Let God take that and lay, your, lay all that stuff down and pick up peace and pick up joy. Uh, put a smile on your face because God is working on your behalf right now. He, is work, he's gonna, he offers you security. He's going to bring you divine help. So just allow him to do that. And remember, I've been saying this for the last two weeks. Shut the door on the devil. Open the door on the Holy Spirit. Shut the door on the devil. Open the door on the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, I had a little bit of a mental battle last night. Uh, I, I dealt with, uh, gosh, I dealt with like five different issues yesterday in between my meetings and I was juggling things and trying to get things done and speaking with people and trying to minister to people and speaking to their lives and praying over them and stuff. And it was uh, a really crazy day. And it was late before I got finished uh, even with things last night. In fact, it was almost one o'clock in the morning before I finished the, uh, everything that had to get done uh, yesterday because I, I was running around so much trying to get things done. But uh, I, so when I got to lay down, man, my mind was restless and uh, 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 the enemy tried to sneak in. I, I mean, I even had read uh, two entire books of the Bible after I, I laid down to uh, just to clear my head because I had this in my spirit. Uh, I put more God in me than, than the enemy can be in me. If the enemy's trying to mess with my mind, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put so much God in me and so much word in me and so much worship in me that there's no room for the devil. And you know what? It worked. It worked. Uh, after after a little bit, my, my mind calmed down, my spirit calmed down, and uh, I laid down and I uh, went to sleep. And uh, it was great. It was great. And I, and I didn't have much sleep last night, but the sleep I had was good sleep. It was, a, it was a deep sleep as I just rested in the presence of God. What did I do? I shut the door on the devil, and I opened the door on the Holy Spirit, and I filled my heart, my mind, and my spirit with so much Holy Ghost that there wasn't no room for anything else. So I just encourage you to do that today. Let me close this app here. Yeah, there you go. Amen. And uh, I encourage you to do that. Let God begin to rise up in you. Let his security rise up in you. Let his divine help turn it over to God. Hey, Sarah, I see you there. Good to see you, girl. Let God take a hold of this thing. Lay it down and let peace and joy rise up in you. You are a child of God. Say it a thousand times if you have to. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am, I am His righteousness. I am redeemed by the blood. I am redeemed by the Holy Spirit. I am redeemed by the blood of Christ. He is, the Holy Spirit is working in me right now. The power of God is operating inside of me. Say it a thousand times if you need to. Fill yourself up. Close the door on the devil. Open the door on the Holy Spirit. Get more God in you than the so much God knew that there's no room for the devil to be in there and and uh, lay your burden down do not succumb to the depths of desperation or these overwhelming feelings let God lead you to a rock that is higher than you are amen well that's my encouraging word today take it into your spirit and your life lay those things down let God lead you to a rock that's higher than you are and let joy spring up let peace spring up inside of you today. God has got this. Whatever that situation is, I promise you, God has got this thing under control. Amen. God bless you guys. And uh, I just want to say a quick prayer over you for your day. Father, I thank you for your goodness, grace, and your kindness, and your mercies toward our lives. And I ask, Father, today that you be with each and every one that's watching on replay, that's watching live right now. That, Father, that you'll be with them. Go with them, Father. And give them the discernment and the strength to lay things down and pick up your joy and pick up your peace, Father. 
and uh, lead them, Father, today to a rock that's higher than they are, that's over their circumstance, that's over their situation, that's going on right now, Father, and let peace and joy rise up in them as they lay it down and they pick up the peace, as they shut the door on the devil and they open the door to the Holy Spirit. And we speak it forth now in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you guys. Thank you guys for being here today. Hey, share this. Uh, uh, go to the YouTube channel on the Facebook here. Just in a minute, it'll be a YouTube link. So just go there. Let's do this thing. Let's share this word. And I'll be back with you tomorrow uh, with a brand new word. Uh, also, uh, tonight at 7 o'clock, Save One will be coming in to make presentation to whoever's going to be there tonight. So I invite everybody to come out. Very important ministry on uh, uh, about abortion and pregnancies and uh, working with those people who are about to have an abortion to minister to those and those who have already had it, had an abortion that are dealing with some mental issues and things that come with that. Uh, powerful, powerful, powerful ministry. The directors of that international ministry will be with us tonight. So just come to Dave's Victory Church tonight at 7 o'clock and be a part of that. Amen. God bless you guys, and we will see you in the morning. Until then, lay down everything, pick up joy, pick up peace, and let God take you up to a rock that's higher than you are. Amen. God bless you guys.